Hello and welcome to Jade Empire! This is Warden's LP, I am Falke and I will be your Let's Player for tonight. As you can see, this is a Bioware game, so you know it's good. This uh, game, this particular copy, was gifted to me by my dear friend Fred of Asgania. So to you! We salute you. The 21 Farton salute! Uh, I counted 22. <laughs> Alright, then let's dive right in and start a new game. Um, if you don't know Jade Empire, um, just enjoy the game unfold. For the others, uh, you know what's waiting for you. And I'm already, I, I already know what I want for a protagonist, kind of. I, I definitely want a woman. Because this is a, a, a third-person view game, and I wanna to look at a woman's bum all the time. If you excuse. So, um, all right. I want a fast, fast and focused woman, and uh, I can customize her. And if I have the chance to customize a woman, I will certainly do so. All right. I want her focused. Yeehaw. And, uh, blah, 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 blah. Um, uh, well, let's balance this out. Alright. And I want a fast, a real fast martial style. This is the right choice, I think. Leaping Tiger. With the vigor and speed of the animal for which this martial style was named, Leaping Tiger dazzles on lookers even as it carves up opponents. Uh, Alright, yeah, yeah. Quickness. Mm -hmm. Quickness, quickness is good. I want her quick. Alright, Leaping Tiger. Custom and her name is Radiant Gen Z. Well, oh, fair enough. All right, I accept. Let's start Jade Empire. Let's start Jade Empire. Yeah, now we start. I swear, one of these days I'll find a way around your guard. Mm. One more match then? Happily. I feel that I learn something every time I face you. Even if it's only a new place to nurse a bruise. So long as you're certain you have time. Alright, show me your best. Let us begin. Press most one to attack. Sounds manageable. While standing still, hold down space to block basic attacks. Try to block a few of Jing Wu's attacks. Now come attack. Come on, come on, attack me. There we go. Ouch! All right. I need healing. And I will heal. All now for the awaiting part. Come on, come on, attack me. There we go. Oh, the master was watching. Did you see? Master Lee was watching. He may not show it, but he clearly takes pride in watching his students practice. 
I learn something every time we meet, proving that loss sometimes is the best teacher. Thank the heavens the bruises are worth it. Thank you for the boat. You are gracious as always. I regret that there won't be much time for such practice now that you've almost finished your training. Master Lee told me to pass on that you should speak to him when you have the chance. He said you could take your time, so you need not rush. Alright, uh, say where's Master Lee again? Master Lee just went into his house. It's just over there, as always. Ah, right. Stupid me. You have some time to wander the school and talk with other students. Smiling Mountain likely has some of the younger students available if you want to spar. Don't mind if I do. I shall leave you to it. Take care, my friend. You too. Chapter 1. Wherein a master foretells of doom. The music isn't fitting at all right now. Arrival challenges for station and the past haunts the present. Hmm, Alright. Your training nears its completion in the idyllic setting of two rivers. Master Lee promises that soon you will know more about how you came here and where your future will lead. All the while, strange tales begin to spread of ghosts that will not rest and shadowy assassins who hate no law. So, this is Two Rivers, our academy episode. And you are? Hi there. You don't want to talk to me? Oh, you're, you're, ah, you're busy. You want to fight? Let's watch them fight. What do you say? Oh, you have big sticks! I want to have a big stick. Say, do you have a big stick for me? Our most senior student has a spare moment to spend with me. An honor. No, wait. I shouldn't be like that. Master Lee always reminds me that jealousy is a low path and not worthy of one of his students. I understand your training is almost complete. I wonder who will replace you as our example. A little cocky, it are we? won't be me. I can't even imagine Master Lee saying, You must strive to be like Lin in all things to the others. Just the opposite, more likely. Yeah. Well, you lack the skills and the discipline to be a leader. It's that simple. This from Master Lee's favorite. We can't all be blessed with such favor. Any of us could have been the best in the school if we had been Master Lee's first student. Yeah, no, but but you're right. I shouldn't underestimate your skills. I'm sorry. Maybe I should spend more time training and less time worrying about where I stand in the school. How else will I be good enough to take you down one of these days? Oh, you wouldn't take Besides, me down. Besides, there might be bigger things to worry about. I find myself intrigued by the ghost tales that everyone's mentioning. Nah. I don't believe in ghosts. Um, but are you, by any chance, uh, interested in, in sparring? Maybe? Of course. Uh, I uh, have to keep practicing if I'm going to be able to best you one day, aren't I? I feel the urge to bitch that you, so let's begin. Excellent. Let's see if we can use Smiling Mountain Sparring Ground. Once we're done, I'll wander back here if you need me again. If you can, wander. Leaving Tiger. Oh, oh, you have a stick and I don't? That's not fair. That. Okay. I have entered focus mode. Yeah, I knew that. Focus mode slows down time. Your focus drains constantly in this mode. Focus. This is for Fred of Asgania. This victory is for you, my friend. Ha! 40 XP. And uh, this this uh, book uh, symbol, it, it, bug, it, it bugs me. I want to get rid of it and I shall press for the J. 
Yeah, this is the journal screen. Click on the quest in the window of the left over a little bit, and then here we have the master's teaching. Speak with Master Lee. Alright. Easy enough. And you are Smiling Mountain. Hi there. Hmm. I thought Master Lee would have your attention for the rest of the day. It is good to see you. Good to see you too. I know you haven't had much time for simple sparring. It is too bad. Your fellow students benefit from your experience. A strong opponent is the best trainer. <laughs> You're flattering me. Um, maybe there are some students available to spar with? There are a few, but not enough for me to set up some of the more challenging matches that I'm sure you would prefer. There will be more students available later in the day when many of their exercises have concluded. All right. Um... Then perhaps another time. But uh, before that, can can I ask you some things about the school? I am charged with giving whatever instruction I can, but my insights deal more with the philosophy of combat than the skills themselves. Um, tell me about the philosophies you mention. Master Lee is very strict about what is taught here, because martial skill is a pathway to great power, and that holds certain risks. It is not just good over evil. Few things in life are that simple. The common way to say it is, do you follow the way of the open palm or the closed fist? Open palm, closed fist? Tell me more about that. A term for the high path, or perhaps the way of restraint and harmony. Many aspire to it, but few achieve it. It is a path of resisting tyranny. Of course, the source of that tyranny varies. It is just as dangerous coming from without as within. Mm -hmm. Give me examples. Tyranny from external sources is easy to find in fight. Defending those who cannot defend themselves is a reasonable example. But what's the? But when your abilities what's sw are switching so much there? greater than the those background. around you, there is the temptation to set everything right me. by might alone. That is tyranny from within. I can't concentrate on the philosophy. Sorry. Who, who's... I'm sorry. Can, can I get out of this? I, I want to know who's swishing there around. I am Chuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I should go. Goodbye. I go. Who is... The... Could you please stop this? I can't concentrate. I am trying to have a discussion here. Hello? Mr. Wu? Mr. Wu, please! Always good to see you wandering the school. You're the best among us, after all. So it makes everyone train a little harder when you're around. The tricky part is making sure we're emulating you, not hoping to take you down a peg. You should think carefully before bruising the tender egos around here. Mm -hmm. Oh, did I tell you to see Master Lee when you have a chance? Yeah, you did. I'm not taking the blame if you forget. But you could be a little bit quieter. Please! This is annoying! Yeah. Alright. What do we have here? A scroll stand. Harmonic combinations. To fight without thought is suicide. The path to victory is laid out one step at a time, each ahead of your opponents. Sagacious Tian. Harmonic combinations demand the use of two styles in rapid succession. The first must be of the class called Support, the second from the class known as Martial. Timing is the key. Begin with a focused disabling effect and follow quickly with a powerful barehanded blow. The two actions working in concert will create a harmonic channel on your chi and wreak havoc upon your foe. You must be swift, as the window to create the harmony is limited. Disable your foe, close swiftly as you change style and strike with all available available force. Let nothing stand in your way, but beware! Opponents of great strength may possess the training to resist this technique. Thought will guide you to victory. Harmonic combinations will ensure the journey is swift. Yeah, I never use them. Sorry, but I get 10 XP for reading it. And another book stand, and yes, I will read out everything, because I like reading, and are you in a hurry? I'm not in a hurry. I want to enjoy this game, and the developers put a lot of effort 
especially in this game, a lot of effort in, well, creating a, a background story for all this, you know? And um, a great deal of that is, is uh, well, all the, the books who provide you with background information. And I quite like it. And it's um, why I'm defending. If you don't like it, just skip ahead. Auspicious portents. Understanding the stars in the universe is a very important goal. By examining the universe, we can interpret and predict things to come. The sky is where the great dragon was said to dwell, and his illustrious home we can see the signs of his effects on creation. Of the observable phenomena, three major ones are the most auspicious. Comets, the flames of the heavens passing across the sky, eclipses, during which the power of the gods blocks the sun for brief periods, and falling stars marking the descent of one of the celestial bureaucracy to the earth. Um, don't really know what they want to tell me, but it sounds really nice. And I get 10 XP, so I'm not complaining. And more students. Quiet ones. This is soothing. Yeah, <coughs> all right. Um, let's go on. We have another book stand. More to read. Yay! The Old Tongue, Volume 1. Tho Fun, or The Old Tongue, was the native language of one of many kingdoms struggling for supremacy before the empire was unified by Sagacious Tian, or First Emperor. A name you should, um, you should remember. As the wars raged, constant shifts in territorial leadership spread the use of the Old Tong. By the time Sagacious Tian formed the empire, the Old Tong was so widely spread that it became a second official language of the Jade Empire. And, um, the, right now there, the, 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 the garbage man outside my, my house, so, um, I don't know if you can hear it, but uh, if it gets louder, it's just... It's it's man doing their job, you know. Don't don't bother. Flip to the Typical. What the? Did did you just spit? Did you spit your damn little jerk? Gow the lesser. Well, I should have a word with you. Oh, you're finally here to talk to Master Lee, are you? I certainly hope so. The old man is in there meditating, and he won't train me until he talks to you. Well, actually, I wanted to talk to you a moment. <laughs> the senior student? Master Lee's little lapdog here to talk to me? My lucky, lucky day. Don't you have something more important to do? Say, what did I do to earn this belligerence? You don't want my answer to that question. Go talk to one of your sandal-looking friends and let them tell you I'm jealous. Are they right? I'm sure Wen could stammer out an answer for you. Something to make you feel all warm inside and just great about yourself. Master Lee wants to talk to you. Do me a favor and go talk to him. Then maybe I can actually receive some education at this school. You sound really bitter, dude. Really bitter. Right, what do you have here? A scroll box. That's new. You received. Martial Styles. Press the attack button to close. Martial Styles. Martial Styles do not always access the energies of mind and body har harmoniously. Sometimes imbalance is the source of their power, as it is with Iron Palm and Wiper. Each requires possession of three meditation scrolls that prepare the student for the forces that will be encountered. If these disciplines are attempted without complete understanding, the student risks accessing more power than the body can withstand. Knowledge of Iron Palm and Viper is not often shared, as most martial practitioners consider them to be in opposition to classical teaching. 
If a student happens upon one of the schools detailing these styles, he or she cannot or should not attempt to train in the style until gaining the possession of all three. The most difficult and humbling step of any journey is the acceptance of one's own limitations and confronting whether the journey is possible at all. Wise words. And more to read, the long draw. Oh, history lesson. You, li you like history, don't you? Yeah, I know you do. So, the Long Draught stands as one of the worst periods in the Jade Empire's recent history. Ten years of scorching heat and little rainfall took their toll on even the prodigious reserves of the Empire's granaries. The sages predicted at least three more devastatingly dry years, while those in the Ministry of Harmony watched the death toll mount into the hundreds of thousands. And again, music, you're not fitting. Uh, could I have a little more, more epicness, more, more pathos here, please? Nah, nah, anyway. Then Emperor Sun Hai declared that the drought was over, and somehow it was. Through the Emperor's divine will, green returned to a parched land, and stability was restored. <laughs> Now, everybody has to, to say something, so uh, maybe you have to say something too. Hi there, student Wen. It is an honor to be approached by the school's most senior student. My mother had high hopes for the school when she sent me here from the capital. Oh, Sometimes you're from I the capital. Sometimes I wonder if I'm ready to train with others of such skill. Even in the robes of a junior student, I feel a long way from my home in the Imperial City. Imperial City? So, you're from Tamriel? <laughs> I'm sorry, I guess not. Um, uh, but if you believe that you're inferior, you'll make it true. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm a nice, I'm a nice girl. Yeah, I'm a, a humble student, and if you are here, you belong here. That sounds really deep. You're right. Master Lee would not have accepted me if he did not see potential. He measures all people carefully. See? I will just have to work twice as hard to catch up to your level of skill. Even then, it will take a long time to be your match. How long have you studied with Master Li? Oh, I've studied with him as long as I can remember. You and Dawnstar have both had a lifetime of training under Master Li. He is stern with you, but you sure can see that he's proud as well. I'm sorry. I shouldn't pester you with my questions. Is there something you need? Oh, pester me. No, 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 no. Um, but uh, you're fairly new here. Tell me more about you. So I'm honored that you should ask. What do you want to know? Um, let's begin with what brought you to this school. The school I attended in the Imperial City was becoming mired in politics. Ah, so politics. my mother sent me out to the country instead. Politics is dangerous, she always said. A wise woman, your mother. Um... What sort of dangers will the Imperial City have? Oh, I don't know. It just seems like the city is changing. Strange people, strange machines. These are interesting times. I think she just wanted to know that I'd be safe. Well, that's a mother's duty, I guess. And what will you do when you're done training here? Well, that won't be for a long time, but I'll probably return to the Imperial City. Perhaps I'll join the Imperial Guard. It's hard to think that far ahead. Right. I'll answer what I can. Um, since you're new, I'm interested to hear your thoughts on Master Lee. He is one man and guides his students well. My last school had two masters who feuded all the time. It made learning very difficult. Mm, I see. What style did you study in the Imperial City? At the Black Leopard School, I learned the bare basics of a style under First Brother Kai. But not enough to say I'd mastered anything more than a few core techniques. Black Leopard School, you say? I'd demonstrate, but I don't think I even could. Master Lee's teachings have been so much more effective that I have forgotten most of what I learned in the capital. <laughs> How do Master Lee's skill measure up to your teachers in the Imperial City? He is greatly skilled and tutors his students intently. You especially. My school in the city was mired in politics, not an environment that promotes diligent study. 
Yeah, damn politics. Well then, take care. I talk to you later. Goodbye. Take care of yourself. So, now we should really talk to Master Lee, shouldn't we? He's waiting, and we shouldn't make a master wait. See why it shows ah, a female. There you are, my student. I watched your bout against Jing Wu with great pride. You have gained almost all you can from the practice arena. You are my best pupil, though you came to me an orphan. I have tried to prepare you for the responsibility your skills will bring. Have you given thought to your future? Well, perhaps I will train others, as you have trained me. Your lessons are complete. Remember these basic skills and keep them at heart. But also remember the classes are not a true measure of ability. Always be ready to learn. I recall that as a child, you fell and bruised your arm. I comforted you, saying that small pains are part of learning, but not every setback imparts wisdom. You must be careful. Sometimes all you learn in defeat is that you have been defeated. This world is out of balance. Spirits grow restless, and you have a role to play that I have kept secret. I really love that line. Sometimes all you learn in defeat is that you have been defeated. Well, I'm sure it was for a good reason, Master. Those who announce their important destiny before they are ready tend to meet unfortunate ends. The wise only seek attention when capable of dealing with it. The people are scared. I do not have all the answers, but I know you will become very important to the fates of many. You will be called to face a great evil. A great evil. Master! Master Lee! What is this interruption? This had better be important. There is much to say. Master, Nijo came to warn me. He saw a boat from the Outlook past the fields. Strange outlaws. They, 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 they fired something at him, and Kiamin was injured. Where is she now? Still outside the village by the Outlook. Nijo couldn't carry her. Please come, Master Lee. The bandits are not at the village yet, but they could arrive at any time. Hmm. We will have to continue our discussion later, my student. It appears we have more pressing matters. Of course, Master. What would you have me to do? The time for practice is over. Go to Gujin, the Weapon Master, and get a weapon. You may yes, weapon! I'm, so I'm, I'm sorry, Master. Yes, yes, On your of way, make certain Dawnstar is aware of the danger. Her skills have always complemented yours, so take her with you. Prepare yourself for a potential attack while I tend to my fallen student. I will return as soon as I can. We will continue our discussion when the threat is over. I will do as you ask. Uh, but uh, where can I find Dawnstar and Gujin? Dawnstar will be near her garden at the entrance to the school. Gujin will be in his shop near the village gate, up the stairs from the village square. I will do as you ask. Good. The time comes when you will know all you need to. For now, keep the basics at heart. Switch the minimap on and off by clicking the mouse to button. And click the Legends button on the map screen in the menu for an explanation of map, 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 map symbols. Press the attack button to close. And we have another journal entry. Find Dawnstar. Okay, and isn't that lovely here? It is here. It, oh, a chest. Hmm. Nobody here. Nobody there. I guess I can risk a look. Ah, red, yellow, and blue lion figurines. I see. A statue of a lion stands behind an altar. 
It is marked as a training aid designed by a previous master of the school. There's a crystal sphere in the lion's paw. Hmm, examine the markings. The altar and statue serve to show students a real example of lessons otherwise presented abstractly in class. It has not seen use in some time. The altar is less honored than the statue and was replaced many times after, after frustrated or deliberate outbursts from students, but that too is part of the exercise. There's mention of greater reward for the more investigative path, but that was probably an additional element of the test performed by the master who placed it. You cannot recall Master Lee ever referring to this statue. Different masters prefer different methods of teaching. Hmm. Approach the altar. Whoops. Something activates as you approach. The sphere in the lion's paw begins to glow with a blue light. Well, let's place the blue figurine. The sphere changes color to glow red. Place the red figurine. Now it's yellow. Okay. A silver coin. The obvious path is humble, safe, but pays the wage of a cook, not a champion. Well, I take the silver anyway. And I keep in mind that there's more to it. But for now, we'll leave it there and find a uh, Dawnstar in Gujin. Get a weapon! And then we have another journal entry. Here, yeah, a master's teaching. Uh, no, here, the line of two rivers. An ancient test! The line statue in Master Lee's house seems to be a test of reasoning of some kind. Master Lee has never used it for training, but it likely still functions if you wish to uncover its mysteries. We will. We will. But um, first things first. Um, ah, there's the gate out of the school into the city. And um, I'll cut the recording here. And I'll see you on the other side.